Hi everyone, Christophe from Signature Chain. So this month we will release a new version of Sign Web App with a couple of new features. And uh, because of this, I will give you a quick tour of the different tools that are already available on uh, the web application and that you can use already. Okay. So first of all, you start by clicking on Sign In. This will open Wave Signer, which is a new technology developed by Waves Platform, and it allows anyone to use his Waves account. Uh, in any third-party application without the needs to install a web browser extension or entering his um, private information, like your private key or seed. Okay? So you enter your password, you select an account, and you are automatically connected to the third-party application. Okay? So from there, you can see that we have different uh, options on the left. So first tab is the overview. It simply shows you all the previous transaction, either transaction or uh, inward-outward uh, transfer. Then you have the Manage Token. This is the wallet part of the web application. Uh, sign isn't just a wallet, but it includes wallet option. Okay, But the main focus of uh, Sign Web App is the certification. So the Receive tab, you have the list of the, all the inward transaction. Okay, The Send tab, you can send uh, your token with the list of all your outward transaction. Here, you just click on Transfer now. It opens the form. You fill it up, and you can transfer your sign token. Okay, Mass transfer, similarly, uh, allow you to transfer, but up to 100 uh, recipients. Okay. If you click on mass transfer now, you can either add them one by one, or you can just uh, copy past a list of different address and you put the amount and you can transfer it. Okay. Then under you have the list of your pre uh, precedent uh, mass transfer. You can see all the recipients by clicking on this three dot. You can see the extra information. Here is the transaction ID. Okay. Then after that, we have the certification tools, which is the core of the uh, web application. First one is a file certification. It allows you to um, certify any file or document on Waste Blockchain. Okay, so you click on Certify now. You will select a file. It will automatically put the name of the file as a reference. You can change it up to 45 characters. Just keep in mind that this uh, reference will be public on the Waste Blockchain. Okay, it will uh, calculate the hash of the file, which is the digital signature of your file. And you will have an option to store the file on a decentralized storage. Okay. But keep in mind that this will be public. So only store it there if you want it to be shared and public. Okay. Then you click certify. It will upload the file on the decentralized storage. Then you will confirm the transaction and it will certify on Waves blockchain. Okay. After that, you will see it appear on the list here. You will have an option to uh, download or access the file on the decentralized storage. Okay. You will have an option to copy past the link here. Then you can share to someone and it will uh, allow them to verify your certification. You see, automatically it will retrieve it. Uh, by the way, this uh, verification explorer is public, so anyone can access it to uh, search about a certification. Okay. Then after that, we have the email certification. It works uh, similarly than a file certification, but allow you to uh, certify any important message. Okay. So you can use your open uh, SMTP or your own credential. Okay. Then we have the mutual agreement. Okay, mutual agreement will allow you to um, request signature for a contract. So, for example, you click on create agreement now. You select uh, your contract here. Same as the file, it will put the uh, name as a reference, the hash. You can store it. So, uh, people you request signature will have access to it. Okay, and you can pass up to five uh, um, recipients. Okay, you don't have to pass your own address because by creating a contract, it will automatically sign it with your own address. I will put like four address and I will create an agreement. So when you create an agreement, um, you pay for the people that will sign. So they don't have to, uh, to pay anything. That means uh, they can sign it with uh, nothing on their account. Okay. Then the agreement will appear in your list. Then you click on the plus, you will see the four party I requested signature that didn't sign yet. And mine is signed already. Okay. And if I switch account, I will be able to sign on any of these account. Okay. Then the verification explorer, we just saw it earlier. So this will allow you to search uh, if a file has been already uh, certified, or you can search a transaction ID by transaction ID or by reference. For example, if I put uh, hash of a file here, if it exists, it will find the certification proof. Okay. Similarly, when you certify a document or uh, an agreement, you can download the certification proof that you can share also. And by uh, selecting the certification proof here, it will also retrieve the information if it exists. Okay. So this is the Verification Explorer. Then you have option to uh, switch account here if you need, or manage your account uh, on the right side. Okay. Then the two last option here, you can buy sign token with um, PayPal okay, or with your credit card. And you have also option to uh, switch, uh, swap uh, your USDN 
to uh, sign certification credit, okay? So when you buy a certification credit with uh, either PayPal or when you switch it, swap it with your USDN, uh, you will not receive token, but certification credit. That means you can do that with an account that have zero token. You don't need to have any waves or sign. You will just get directly a uh, credit that will allow you to certify, okay? So for example, if I put uh, one USDN, I will receive two credit, okay? I confirm and it will do the swap automatically, okay? Then I confirm it. Okay, then I will receive two credit. Okay, and that's pretty it for uh, the um, different options that we have actually on our uh, web application. Okay, so don't hesitate to give it a try and give us a uh, feedback. Thank you.